What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, I'm going to be taking a client of mine, a top producing mortgage broker um, in the country of Canada. I'm really crushing it. Been in the business forever and a day. And now he's just taking his, his business to social media, um, specifically through Facebook advertising, and he'll be targeting his local area for leads. And after consulting with literally thousands of, of real estate agents, mortgage brokers, and just online entrepreneurs... After speaking to so many of them, you guys, there's there's a couple of just um, common denominators that I always find in damn near 100% of you guys. And, and, and one of them is the offer. Most are out there sharing their business and just putting out content, trying to really bring value to their audience, right? But what damn near 10 out of 10 of them always miss is an offer, is a simple, what I call bait, Right. As business owners, as entrepreneurs, as we're out there sharing content regarding our business on social media, on the Internet, we're all fishing for business. I like to say we're all fishing for business. But what I found 10 out of 10 are fishing with no bait. Right. The bait is your offer. You got to have a simple offer. And in the online space, most offers that you'll see all over the internet are 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 are, are two different types. One will be a will be a free PDF, a free ebook. Click here to download now, right? So that person that's trying to capture a lead, their bait is 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 the offer in the form of a PDF, an ebook, something you can physically download now, right? That's the exchange of value. They're giving you this simple PDF for free in exchange for your name and email, right? So you'll see that all over the internet is a simple PDF. The second form of bait that most go out there and, and fish with is a webinar, right? Some type of video, some type of training. Click here to watch a free training, right? So what I teach a lot of a lot of online business owners, a lot of service-based business owners, real estate agents, in this case today with my client Faisal, a mortgage broker, what I teach is putting together a simple PDF, a simple guide teaching someone about your business, and that's the bait, right? So in real estate, it's a buyer guide. It's a seller guide. Um, with mortgages, it's a PDF. So that's what we spent, Faisal and I, we spent the last couple of months putting together his entire offer, putting together his entire his entire back end, which is the funnel. And so today I'm going to be taking him through, walking him step by step on how to plug all that into Facebook, start running it as an ad, targeting his local area to capture leads. Okay, so we're going to take care of that right now, you guys, and let me get him on the line. Yeah, I think I, I don't know if I froze there for you guys, but I definitely froze on my end. But but I'm going to be helping them take all that together, plug it into Facebook on the platform and run it as a Facebook lead ad to capture leads in his local area. OK, you guys, so give me one second. Let me get him on the line. Hi, David. Hazel. How are you? What's going on, my friend? I am very, very well. Happy Friday. How are you? Are you closing yeah. deals over there or what? Yeah, yeah. All good. All good. Yeah. <laughs> what about yourself? How things are on your side? You look nice today. I see that that suit, that coat on you. Looks really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I've been Thank I've been on calls all morning, just sharing what I share, man. Teaching um, was on a, an amazing master class a couple hours ago, just learning how to take my business to the next level. So right. yeah, man, things are really good, man. Things are really really good. That's so, good. That's good. Do you want to launch another ad right now, or what? What do you want to do? Yes, yes, yes. Because I prepared the video, I have wrote down that email which we last discussed. Right. Awesome. So you can see you can see that and also prepare the video. The only thing which we have to do is uh, the uh, the the content of that ad. We need to modify it. Probably we can do it in AI. Or, yeah, perfect. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. So go go ahead and share yeah. your screen. Yeah. And let's. So is the, is the video already on the business page? The ad, the video ad. Uh no, it's not on the bit. I can just put it there right now. Okay, yeah. So we'll we'll put it there on the business page. Yeah. And then and then we'll just modify any any of the text that's needed. And then everything on the back end is already is already ready to go as far as your funnel, as right. far as your, your custom conversion, which do you remember what a custom conversion is? Yes. What's what's the custom conversion? Custom conversion, uh because uh, you got your custom audience and then you have your custom conversion. Yes. Yes. Do you remember I, what the custom conversion is? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember. 
Because it's already hooked up. Everything's already plugged in, but I just want, yes, yes. Just want yes, to do a yes, refresher. Yes, 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 yes. Everything is right there, but uh, no, I have to I have to check. I can't remember properly. The I custom conversion, I, hmm. always remember when it comes to, and this applies to any business, really hmm. any, any business. Right. When you're running a Facebook or an Instagram ad to, 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 to capture leads, to capture hmm. leads, the custom conversion is the most important setting. And that custom conversion is, is, is the link to your thank you page, right? So as right. we run the Facebook ad, as people right. click on learn more, they go to your landing page. But internally, what we're telling Facebook is we're telling them about the thank you page. We're telling them about the custom conversion. So right. when, when Facebook runs the ad, they're running it to people that are likely to opt in. Right, right, right. Because right. the yeah. custom conversion is telling Facebook, hey, I need people right. to land on the thank you page. Yes, I need people to click learn more. Yes, mm. I need people to go to the go to the landing page and enter their mm. name, name and email. Yes, I mm. need that. But what I ultimately need Facebook is I need people to land on this custom conversion. I need people to land on the thank you page. Right. Okay, right. so 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 the custom conversion is always your thank you page. Right. Uh, okay, so I've so this is my video. Should we write something here or awesome. I should it post it? Yes, yes, let's definitely let's definitely write something out. What I use, yeah, we could definitely go back to chat chat GPT for this. Um sure. what I use chat GPT for is mm -hmm. is the text in an ad. And then I'll I'll even also use it for my email sequence, which which we didn't right. use it for yours. You kind of wrote out your email sequence, and that's perfect. But mm -hmm. but in the future, you yeah, I'll even I'll even write it for my use it for my email sequence. Um, and what I what I tend to do is I'll use I'll use ninety nine percent of what this thing spits out at me, and mm -hmm. and I'll just tweak the one percent. I'll just tweak the one percent, you know, change it up a little bit. You know, but but just getting getting a good idea of what of what AI can do for us, yes, like this is this is super powerful. As we log back in here, yeah, you can go back off of that old one. And so that is the Facebook. Yeah, Th this is this is the this is the this is the text that we used for the old one, right? Watch, go back to ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Uh, so yes. so this one right here. This was was this the old ad the, the, or the first ad? Yeah, first time home buyers. Right? No, no, no. This was. Uh, was this? I, it should be up here somewhere. Uh, yes, this is the one. Yeah. See, so so even even using the same. I mean, we could easily on the bottom the search message chat message chat GPT classic. Should, should, so yeah, should we write down the new a new? Uh, you can. You can. Yeah, you can. Um, what was the prompt that we gave this the first time? What right here? So Facebook ad copy. So actually, you know what? Go back to go back a little higher. So you wrote the prompt, which is right here, the, the top. Write me a Facebook. So so grab that. Write me a Facebook ad targeting potential, targeting potential. Copy that. And and what we can do is just change it up a little bit in the prompt. So yeah. copy that, put it below in the in the in the search. Yeah, put it there and then paste it. And let's just change it up a little bit. So write me a Facebook ad targeting. First time home buyers. So let's take away the word potential. Let's just write me a Facebook ad targeting first time home buyers in in the Vancouver, BC area. Yeah, who are possibly interested in buying their first home. Talk about the benefits. Yeah, see, even if you just even if you just hit enter. Actually, you know what? Professional tone. Let's just put buyers, buyers right in a friendly and professional tone um, and create urgency. Create urgency to download my free PDF now. So just and put that at maybe the last sentence. Create urgency because I don't know if if oh actually you already put that there and create urgency to download. Oh yeah, it's already there. Okay, so right, just I mean, write, write me a Facebook ad targeting first time. So rather than the word targeting, write me a mm -hmm. Facebook ad for first time home buyers. Yeah, let's take away the word targeting. Yeah, see, so just mm -hmm. tweaking it up a little bit. The prompt. This is what you call the prompt. Mm -hmm. Just change it up, and then what it spits out next will be will be something different than what what it brought 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 to us the, uh, at the top. Last time, yeah, yeah, the, the okay. first time. Okay, so it, do, so it is still still working on it. Okay, scroll down. Yeah, you should be. Okay. Yeah, perfect. now it's writing. Okay, great. So yeah, it, it'll it'll I'm sure. 
I'm assuming it's going to give you a different mm. variation of it, which is which is what we want. Um, yeah, see, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so see, we could just click on one of them. First time home buyer answer. Thinking about buying your first home in Vancouver. Yeah, see, thinking about buying your first home in Vancouver, that's a little different. So it has given two, two, two responses. Yeah. See, and that's why a lot of times, you know, we want to look at our Facebook post and try to think so, think of something ourselves. Where it's like, okay, you could do that, but it's like, man, yeah. like this is just so damn easy. Like this is amazing, yeah. right? Like, of it course, it helps. It helps. It helps. It helps tremendously. Mm -hmm. Um, and so again, whatever we see there, I'll use ninety nine percent of it. And then just mm -hmm. change it up a little bit for the actual post, mm -hmm. you know. So so grab grab whichever one you you you, you like. Thinking I like about your first home in Vancouver. Opportunity to secure your dream, okay. But before you dive in, make sure you are fully prepared. Download our. See, so download our, my right. So we get the little yeah. words, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, packed with crucial tips and advice on avoiding common mistakes when first time home buyers. In this guide, you will learn how to get pre-approved for the best mortgage, small strategy, smart strategies for making a strong offer, make mistakes to avoid that could save you thousands. Take the yeah. first step towards home ownership with confidence and don't wait opportunity. Like we click below and free guide now. That's okay. amazing, dude. That's amazing. Okay, That's amazing. Yeah. Grab that one. So it gave us a couple options, and then you click the blue, the black button, and then boom, it it throws it out right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's awesome. be do this. Oh. Yeah, First, so I'm just it? just just posting the video with the with the I have I've changed slightly. Uh, the content slightly. Perfect, perfect. That's all you want to. One more thing before you put. Actually, that's fine. I'm gonna have mm -hmm. you go back into it. What I what I always want you to do too is mm -hmm. um, and this applies when you're running an ad, obviously, but this really applies when you're posting a video on your business page, right? Mm -hmm. On the business page. Watch. Mm -hmm. Let me show you an example. Hover okay. over, hover over, the Facebook logo in the top left. Just hover over it, right click, and open link in new tab. So the logo in the top left, the Facebook logo, just just hover over that. Okay. Yeah, hover over that. Right click, right click, open link in new tab, and just go to your newsfeed. Let me just show you. Let me show you one little piece of real estate is what I like to call it. One little liner that most people miss when they're posting their videos, and you'll see it. So go ahead and click on that tab. Click yeah, on I already did. So it's right now it's working here. Yeah. yeah, click on that one. Go ahead and click on it. And then just go to your news feed. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. So scroll down, scroll down. Mm -hmm. and Okay, look, look, look. This is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. You see how you see your video? Look at that, man. You mm -hmm. look sharp, man. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really right. Good. I prepared that one in, in, in sitting in the car. Perfect. And that and that's another thing too, Faisal, is that most people, especially real estate agents, um, mortgage, obviously the same too, but most, just most, most, look mm -hmm. at that, man. That's awesome. Most right. will think that they have to do these professional production made videos when, when you don't pull out your phone and start talking. Yeah. That's yeah, it, man. I, that That's the perfect ad right there. Right. Yeah, I like to keep it very simple and very that, natural. That's the magic. That's the magic. That's the psychology magic. When people see that, they're like, Hey, he's a normal guy, just like me. Right. So right. you don't need to be perfect. Be the video production doesn't need to be so professional ever at all. But here's my right. point. Here's what I was going to show mm -hmm. you. Look at this. As we're scrolling through the news feed, there's the mm -hmm. text, the video, scroll down. Right below, right here, right here. Right where you see the blue, see insights and ads. Mm -hmm. Don't click on it. Don't click on it. Mm -hmm. But that right there is a little one-liner that you would have missed. That's where we want to put a little one-liner. We want to put a call to action. We want it to say something right there. Because if we don't right. add it, then it's just blank. Watch, right. scroll down, scroll down. Let me show you one that actually has it. Um. Well, you don't you don't have any other any any other, and no, that, that's fine. A... That's fine. But but most most that are running ads or even yeah most mm. of that running ads you'll just you'll see something there on the bottom left of the video. So mm -hmm. so go so close out this one. Let's go back to your 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 other tab. 
close it, close out this Facebook one. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So scroll down and go ahead and 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 click on click click on the video. Keep going. Where where did the video? Actually, it's probably not even here yet. Refresh the page. Normally, it takes a couple minutes to even yeah. show. Yeah. Let's see if it's there. It should be. Right. Okay, in. Perfect. So now go ahead and click the three dots in the top right. So of the video of the post, scroll up. So you got the three dots in the top right of the post. Scroll, not not those ones, above the post, the actual post. So scroll up right here, these three dots. Click on that, go to edit. And here's where you would add the one-liner. And the one-liner is, is, is always a call to action. And in fact, I think in ChatGPT, watch, scroll up to the top of the text here. In the text, scroll up to the text. Let me read the top of the text. So right here, thinking about buying your first home in, in, in the Fraser Valley, Vancouver area. Okay. That right there would mm -hmm. actually make a good one-liner. Now, it mm -hmm. might be a little too long. It might be a little too long. Um, thinking about... It, it's perfect for right there in the text, for sure. But I'm thinking about the one-liner in the bottom left. Thinking about buying your first home in the Fraser Valley, Vancouver, BC. Let's leave that there, but go ahead and scroll down to the video. So now scroll down to the video, and you're going to click on Video Options. And what Facebook calls it is a video title. Scroll up. No, 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 no. Scroll up above the video right here, right here. Video options. So in here, it's called a video title. And it, it and it's again, it's the it's the little call to action one liner that you see at the bottom left of a video when it's ran the right way, when it's set up the right way. Right. So this is this is where we get a little piece of real estate where we can write something. And normally I'll put a call to action there. Um, and, and obviously the call to action is to download the PDF. Mm. Let, go back to the um, go back to ChatGBT. Let me see if there's <clears> any <throat> one liners in that. Go back to ChatGPT. Let me look at the. Okay, so um, thinking about buying. Okay, so download your. And it could it could easily be it could easily be download your free PDF guide now. Yes, it could easily be that. It could easily be that. So let's put yes. that free PDF guide now. So download. Download. Yep. Download your free PDF your, now. Or maybe you download your free PDF now. Your. Or, or maybe guide, maybe just guide. Download your free guide now. Yeah, download guide. Yeah, we won't put PDF. Download your free guide now. And that's it. That's it. Save. Actually, space that. Yeah. You, you spaced it too much. The exclamation marks. Bring it back. Yeah. Perfect. Download your free guide now. Okay. Save. And now save again. Now we're ready to rock and roll. So so again, when, when it comes to... When it comes to successfully setting up a Facebook video ad. Mm -hmm. There's always the three framework, the three steps that I, that I, that I, that I try to teach, right? Step one, mm -hmm. we post it on the business page first, mm -hmm. which is what we just did. We use ChatGPT to write out the text. Mm -hmm. That's step one. Now, step two, we go to the ads manager and now we actually publish the ad. That's right. step two. And then step three is creating the custom audience mm -hmm. of all those that watch it. Right. Okay. All we want to do is we want to start collecting all these audiences. We got video ad number one that went out. We got the audience of those who watch it for 15 seconds. We mm -hmm. had your intro video go out. We got the audience right. of those that watch it for 15 seconds. Right. Now we're going to have an audience of this new one. So all right. you're really doing in your case is you're just creating new custom audiences every time you put out a new video. You you right. won't you won't need to create so open up another tab. Let's go to let's go to let's go to your bookmarks. Open up another tab. Let me show you. Go to your bookmarks, go to custom audiences. And so you won't need to create any more audiences around your 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 landing page, around your funnel, because we already have those audiences. So those right. that audience is gonna be right here. You're gonna have two of those audiences. In fact, I think you have three of the audiences, but but really two is the most important. The third one would be those that land on your on your confirmation. In fact, we could mm -hmm. probably even do that one right now. But those that land on your on your on your appointment confirmation page, mm -hmm. right? I, right, I, right? I opt in. I go to your landing page. That's landing page visitors only. I opt in. That's that custom audience right there. I opt in. I opt in. I then don't click on it. Move okay. away. So I can see the other ones. Move away. I opt in, and then I land in your PDF downloads mm -hmm. audience. Those right. are that land on the thank you page. Right. Right. And then I go and schedule an appointment mm -hmm. and I land on your appointment confirmation page. Remember that's the video. Hey guys, your appointment is mm -hmm. confirmed. That's its yeah, own. Right. That's its yeah. own page. 
So so later on, we'll create an audience around around those ones as well. OK, uh, mm -hmm. right. So so we got landing page visitors. We got PDF download and then we got intro video custom mm -hmm. audience. And then we got we got PDF video one custom audience. And so moving forward again, your landing page visitors, you won't have to touch your PDF downloads audience. You won't have to touch. Let those build mm -hmm. up. All you'll do from this point on is create mm -hmm. a new audience for the new video. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. In fact, let's just do it right now. We could do that right now. Okay. You're recording this? Yes. All of it. Create okay. audience. Okay. Hit the blue button. Come down to custom audience. And let's create an audience of video. And again, these are all the different sources. Yeah. Um, and here's another thing too. Here's a, mm -hmm. let, me, let me touch on this really, really quick. Because this is what mm -hmm. we'll leverage in the future. This is the strategy that I'm going to teach you in the future. Which 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 is going to really really take take the targeting to the next level. Um, mm -hmm. Here, I just want to kind of start you off with basic steps, but later on, as we really start to really progress, right? One thing that I'm going to have you do is let me ask you this first of all: mm -hmm. Do you have any relationships with title reps, with title companies? Title companies, like what? Can you explain what are title like a title company? Like who handles your your like? Is it is it normally the real estate agent that will handle the title? escrow or, or or you're you're aren't you in communication with with what do you guys call it out there I don't, do you even do you even call it title and escrow out there in canada no no we don't call what so do you, probably do you have a closing attorney so what so sorry do you have is it, is it a closing attorney who handles the documents who handles the 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 paper yes yeah the paperwork solicitor the real estate agent no no the solicitor say that again the solicitor the lawyer the lawyer, right? Yeah, the lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay well, so, that might be a little different then. Um, yes. Yeah, so yeah, they, they, so once the mortgage is done, so all the paperwork mm -hmm. is sent to the lawyer by the bank who has yeah. approved the mortgage. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I won't. Uh, we don't need to do that. 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 Yeah. We call them lawyer and solicitor as well. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because that that audience could have been customer list, but we won't even worry about that. The only okay. audiences we're ever going to worry about here is website and video. That's okay. it. But but the website audience, again, we already have those, so we don't need to we worry about website audiences anymore. It's going to be video audience audiences from this point on. So right, right there, video, click on next. And then all you're going to do is just hit the drop down at the top, choose the engagement. So so these are all the different timestamps that we can actually create an audience around. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times my clients will say, well, David, I have a one minute video. I have a two minute video. Why don't we create an audience of everyone who watches the whole thing? 95%, mm -hmm. right? That's the most logical answer you're probably even thinking. Let's create an audience of everyone who watches the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. You would think that's good, but really it's, it's not because that audience mm -hmm. is going to be small. Right. Not yeah, everyone's is, watching the whole video no, at all. No, yes. Nor do we right. need to watch, nor do we yeah. need people to watch the whole thing. Right. right. If I can get you to watch 15 seconds and then I just keep showing my face in front of you again and again and again and again mm. because I'm retargeting you, right? You're right. going to eventually listen to what the hell I'm saying. You're going to eventually watch one of my videos that come down your newsfeed eventually and you're going to watch the whole thing. And you're going to eventually download whatever I'm offering, right? right. So so 15 mm. seconds is, is normally the sweet spot. So that's what we'll right. stick to on most of your videos being one minute to two minute long. 15 second audiences are, are, are good enough. So select video. Right. So you're going to hit the blue select videos right in the top right and just look for that video just change the facebook page are are you on the right facebook page hit the drop down the top right yeah no, is that the right all... yeah so come down to the right facebook page this is the one okay yeah this is the one perfect confirm so there, there's that video so we're going to hit confirm and that's it and 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 again, forty three seconds. That's the first time I've seen the length. That's way too long, way too short. So that, which one? The video length. I didn't realize it was forty three seconds. Yes, forty three seconds. Yes. That's 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 too. That's a little too short. But that's fine. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna run with it right now. We'll do. We'll mm -hmm. do it. But in mm -hmm. the future, try mm -hmm. to cross the 60, 60 second mark. Okay. Right? right. Try to talk a little bit more. Right. Okay. Three bullet points in your video. Number one, you're calling out the audience. Number right. two, I'm telling a story, right. right? So, so bullet point number two, and then bullet point number three, the call to action. But bullet point number two, mm -hmm. bullet point number two, in my professional opinion, and obviously based on my experience, bullet mm -hmm. point number two alone should have been forty three seconds. Okay, just bullet point number and, two, and it should be about 
bullet point number two. Giving me a tip, giving me mm -hmm. a mistake to hey, like for example, mm -hmm. bullet point number two. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the number one mistake to avoid before you apply for your first mortgage. Mm -hmm. Bullet point number two, you're either you're either giving me a tip. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to I'm going to be giving you the number one tip that I give all my clients before they mm -hmm. ever run their credit. Right. Right. So so giving me a tip or a mm -hmm. mistake to avoid. That mm -hmm. and, and, and giving it to me in some type of story mm -hmm. or 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 simply talking about something in the PDF. Right. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you page four out of my PDF that I just put out for first time home buyers. On mm -hmm. page four, I'm talking about this. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Right. right. That alone would be 43 seconds. Okay. I understand. Right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, yeah. So, but that's fine. I'll do it next thing. Yeah. No worries. We'll do that yeah, yeah. for sure. So audience yeah. name, let's give it an audience name and, and let's kind of stay on track of what we've been naming everything else. Well, really everything else is just video number one. What did you name yeah. one? You put. So I, so I, I, uh, I named it add, add two. Add two. For this video. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, so, but video, we want to be specific video, right? Video ad. Video add two. Video ad number two, maybe something like that. And we'll see what it is once we create this audience. I will see this. It's in the background, is, what you named it. That, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that so, okay? Would you add two? Perfect. Yeah. Per, and then in parentheses, yep. After mm -hmm. the number two, in parentheses, 15 seconds. After the number two. After, okay. yeah. Yeah. Space. And then, yeah. In parentheses, 15 seconds. Right. So titling it, I'm always big on titling things. That way, you, when you look at it on the dashboard, you know exactly what it is. Right. 15 yeah, seconds. Yeah. 15 seconds. 15 yeah. SEC. It give you a reference, a relation. Yes, but put seconds. Put not just the number fifteen. Put put yeah, write out. But before before the quote, yeah. So do fifteen seconds. Fifteen, 15 seconds, or maybe yeah, perfect, perfect. That's it. That's it. So create audience. So look, you name this one video ad dash two. Let's mm -hmm. see what you named the first one. Create audience. So done. So you named video number one. What did you name video number one? You named video number one. Hit done. You you put intro video 15 seconds, right? So mm -hmm. actually, no, no, I'm sorry. You put PDF video one. That's what you did. You did PDF video one. Yes, this, should be, this should be PDF video two. Okay. Right? And we'll so do that. We, we could do that later, but but I'm just okay. I'm just showing you the, the basics of just staying. So there, yeah, name. so there's yeah, consistency, a sequence. A sequence, yes. PDF right. video two. Right? right, that's that should be the name of it. But we'll we'll do that part later. No big deal. So mm -hmm. so so step one: posting the video on the business page, mm -hmm. writing out all the text, leveraging mm -hmm. ChatGPT to to help you with that. Step mm -hmm. two: creating mm -hmm. the new audience of this new video, right? right. And, and then step three: now let's publish the ad. So right. so now we can go to bookmarks and just go straight to the ads manager. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So this is where we'll set up the, 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 the next ad. So 15 leads. Was it 15 or was it more that came in on 20, that last 20, 20. 20 leads. 20 leads yeah. came in on the last one. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Perfect. And then so now from here, we'll just hit that green create and just go from here. So here we're going to go leads. leads. Yep. yep. And then we're going to go continue. Okay, awesome. And then we'll always go, wait, wait, wait. We'll always go manual, manual yeah, leads campaign. Yeah. Yep, always go with manual. And then continue. Okay, awesome. And then here at the top, let's just name it, right? Naming everything is, is going to help in the future. So at the top, scroll up to the top and just give it a name at the title, new leads campaign. Um, you can leave the word leads, leave the word leads. Uh, well, never mind. But, but go ahead and put in... Yeah, that's fine. And then in the beginning, before leads, before leads, type in, um, type in, type in PDF video two, PDF video two, PDF video two. Um, and again, that should have been the name of the custom audience, right? Mm -hmm. Video number two, right? Naming everything the same. So, so, but that's fine. And then leads, you put that in parentheses. So leads, because that's what we're choosing. That's the objective. So I'll, I'll always put that in, in parentheses or quotations. 15 seconds on the custom audience is what we cho chose. So we've always put that in quotations or parentheses. So perfect. So that's that. And then categories, categories. You're always going to go categories because you're in finance. Always hit that drop down. 
you're going to go housing um, for mortgages and that's it. And if you, if you know, when a person doesn't click that, let's say you are mortgage and you do not check the box for housing, mm -hmm. Facebook will have you go through it. But once they go to review the ad, they'll email you and say, hey, you need to go back and check this box or the ad won't go live. Okay. So, so, so it's not like the ad will completely get rejected. It'll get rejected, but it, it's not like it, it's a major, major, you know, um, problem. You'll just come back here and choose housing. Yeah. So, but they will send an email to, yeah, you'll get an email. Yeah. yeah. You'll get an email once they review it. Right. So, right. Housing at all times, Canada is the country hit next. And that's it. That that's, that's tab one. Step one is just choosing the objective and, and going housing. And so here, we're going to name it at the top once we do everything below. Once we do everything below, we'll rename it at the top. Okay. So, so here, conversions, we're going to go website. We'll go website. And we're going to, as we move forward to, we're going, we're going lead ads to a landing page, lead ads to our funnel, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's one strategy. As we move forward, maybe ad number four, maybe ad number seven, whatever. As we move mm -hmm. forward, we'll also play around with instant forms. Okay. Right, we'll all we'll also test instant forms and see right. what kind of success we get with instant forms. Um, right. So we'll go back and forth. So so that's website perfect for the landing page. And now we're going to scroll down. So it won't be website all the time. Nine out of ten times, but every now and then we'll we'll do instant form just to test, okay. just to test. Okay. Yeah, just to okay. just to test. Um, instant forms is 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 good when we have you know a good a good six, seven, eight custom audiences, and maybe we're running ad number nine and we're going to retarget all these audiences. And maybe we only, we run an ad and we only show a form. We only run it. So, now, so now, because this is going to be ad number two. So for, for the next two, three, eight, it is going to be website. Yeah. We'll go with website. Yeah. We'll go with website okay. for, for a good, a good five, six ads. Okay. And then, and then, and then we'll, we'll start testing instant forms as well. Right. But okay. again, in your case, look what happened, you know, 20 leads off of email number off of ad number one, mm. you know, so it's like, man, so, so our funnel is doing good. Your funnel is right. doing right. So mm -hmm. again, it's only testing every now and then we'll go, we'll go you use, use the instant form because the instant form is the mm. Facebook funnel, right. right? That's when you're running ads to a Facebook funnel, mm -hmm. which is just the simple question form that they provide. <clears throat> right. You know, right. so we'll do that later. We'll test mm -hmm. that later. Mm -hmm. So, so here we're good. Maximize mm -hmm. number of conversions. We're good with that. Pixel, that's the pixel. And then here, the conversion event. This is the mm -hmm. custom conversion. This is your thank you page. So remember, when we set it up, we named it. So when you hit that drop down, scroll up and 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 look for that custom conversion, which we named PDF downloads. Right. That's the that's the thank you page. So, so again, we named the custom audience PDF downloads mm -hmm. and we named the custom conversion PDF downloads. Okay. Right. So, so there's that. So we're good there. So we'll keep going, mm -hmm. keep going, keep going. The budget, go ahead and put in a, a daily budget, whatever, 10, 15, 10. 20, whatever. Previous it was 10. So let's do 10. Yeah. Do 10. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And then, and then today, what is it? Today's the 11th. I would, 11. I would go live with it. It's still fairly early. It's still fairly early. I'm, 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 I'm sure you'll get a, you'll get an approval from Facebook within the next, I would say within mm -hmm. the next two, three hours. Mm -hmm. So you could have it go live later on this afternoon, or you can, you can plan on it going live first thing in the morning. Okay. Right. So, so whatever. So maybe put, if you want to go today, I would probably have it go live maybe later on, like 4 p.m. You know, if you want to go today, if if you want to go October 12th, then then set it for 6 a.m. So it goes live first thing in the morning. You know, so, yeah, let's do next day. Let's do let's do let's do the let's do the tw let's do the 12th and go 6 a.m. And then the end date will just 15 days, push it out 15 days. And as I as I'm as I'm teaching you, right. Two mm -hmm. videos, one video every 15 days, right? That right. Yeah. in a perfect world, that's what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. I will right? be doing that. Yeah. So so but but here's here's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, the ad we're on day, let's say we're on let's say we're on day 10 mm -hmm. and, and and not many leads have came in. Mm -hmm. That's when I would advise you to just shut it off. Shut okay. it off. Don't even go the next five days. If we're right. on day 10 and, and it's not really producing. 
mm-hmm. than, than, than just shut it off. But right. that's not going to really happen. I mean, I think the market, we just, well, first of all, we've only ran one ad so far mm-hmm. and we got 20 leads, but I think people are going to start to recognize you. And so I just think mm-hmm. it's going to keep, it's going to keep going up from here um, mm-hmm. where, 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 where leads, yeah, where I, I'm willing to bet that it's very unlikely that you won't have leads on, on by day 10. I'm pretty sure, you know, this is going to do good just as, as as the other one did. Mm-hmm. But but push it out 15. Yeah, push it out 15 just, just to have it 15 days out. And then same end, end time, 6 a.m. Perfect. And then scroll mm-hmm. down, audience. And so this is this is where we would start retargeting our custom audiences, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, so what do we have so far? We have click in the box. We would have our intro video. We would mm-hmm. have video ad number one. Mm-hmm. We would have everyone who landed on the landing page. We would mm-hmm. have landing page visitors only. Remember, these are people that saw your first ad. Mm-hmm. They clicked. And for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. That's right. fine. That's fine. I'm going to retarget you and you're going to see me again. Right. Right. So let's go with those three. Let's go with video at our intro video. Click on intro video. Let's go with um, PDF video one. And let's go with landing page visitors only. Okay. So we're going to always retarget these previous. So which is the second one? This one? PDF video video one. Landing page visitors only. So we're going to always retarget our audiences. And we're going to also always put in our, our, um, our, our um our our current targeting so right. and you you see to the right we recommend trying the following to avoid getting zero leads expand your audience yes we're going to expand it once we actually type in your location so, so that the, red air so where is the third one uh we don't need that one you well you you already have three up there you have three up there so you have yeah you already have three so so that's fine so click away click away we don't need those those ones mm-hmm. okay so click away Okay, so scroll back up. No, you got to click away. Get rid of the drop down. Move, move, move the mouse. Yeah. Okay, move, move the mouse. Okay, there we go. Okay, scroll down. Locations right here. Locations. Mm-hmm. So once we type in, actually, it's showing. Okay, go ahead and put in locations or right, edit this part, Canada. Let's see if that red arrow still moves. And the reason why that red arrow is is there, it's showing zero leads. It, it's saying this. Mm-hmm. They're 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 saying. And it could be because those audiences are not that big just yet. That that mm-hmm. that's what it could mean as well. But but go ahead and take away Canada, X out to the right, get rid of Canada, and and then put in your actual location. And I don't remember what you what you yeah, put so. in. Search locations. Type it in. Type in your location. Type in your location. I don't remember if you put the city or the st- or, yeah. I don't remember if you put mm-hmm. the city or if you put the actual address. You don't have to put city of. Don't put that. Just type in the city. Okay. Yeah, type in the city. Did you do that on on the other two videos? Yes. Whatever. So this is. You went. You went city. Abbotsford, British Columbia. Okay, because this is very specific. Look, you got yes. city. Look to the right. You got city. You got place. You got airport. You got address. Right. So whatever we went with for the intro video, and for video number one which we can easily check but i'm trying mm-hmm. to get you remember this whatever we went Yeah with- i can't i can't remember probably but most likely abbotsford's british columbia because this oh, is the name of the city open up another tab let's just check this real quick it's simple open up another okay. tab go to your bookmarks go to ads manager and let's look at that targeting real quick no open up another tab open up another tab don't mess up this one yeah open up a- always open up another tab go to your go to your yeah go to ads manager And again, all we have to do, if we properly titled it, all we got to do is look at the title. So, so for example, video ad number one, tr- mm-hmm. check the box to the left, check the box to the left, check the box to the left. Click on the ad set tab at the top. Click on ad sets at the top, ad sets for one campaign. Click on that tab. Ad set? Ad sets up right there. These are our three tabs, okay? So I'm going to always refer to the three tabs. Yeah, yeah. So look. That's what Abertford, you did. BC. Yeah. So you did Abertford, BC, eighty kilometers, right? Meter, so, yeah. so that's what I'm trying to get you to remember. Whatever that targeting is, we're going to use the right. same targeting, right? 
for everything, right? Yep. So so go ahead and you know what? Go into edit real quick. Let's let's look at this real quick. Go into edit down uh, under the title. Yeah, click on edit. No, not the edit name, just the word edit. No, no, no. No. Cancel. Hit cancel. Cancel. Okay, click on edit, the word edit right below 80 km. Let's just let me just look at this real quick. Cause that that would be average for BC. Scroll down, scroll down to the to the targeting. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so right here, the up, little up to the location, right here. Click on, yeah, edit that. Click on edit, and I just want to. Okay, so it doesn't say city or anything like that, but I just, I just want to make sure that it's not place or no, no, it's average for BC, yeah. Yeah, but I just wanted to. I was wondering if it if it actually said city. Um, should I click? But it this? should be the same. No, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. So okay. just close out this entire tab. We don't need this tab anymore. Close out the entire tab. Yeah. Perfect. Let's just go back to the other one. Okay. Okay. So yeah, type in out Aberford, and then as you're typing it in, you always, always, always must go with the drop down. Right now, again, this is place. We don't want place. We want city. So keep typing until you see the word city. Aberford, BC. Um, what else? What else is there? Maybe retype it. Maybe retype it. See if you. No, don't don't type in the word city. No, 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 not okay. city. Just type in the app the the loc the city, and then you'll see the drop down. Okay, so that's it right there. City, right? Um, so again, is, yeah. Yeah. again, if I didn't do that, you would have probably clicked on place. Mm -hmm. Right. So so you got to always make sure it says city. Okay, great. That's the location. That's the targeting. So I'm just trying to get you to to just know the importance of of penetrating one exact location. We don't want to move around. Right. I have clients that want to move around. One day they want to run an ad and target this side. The next ad they want to target over there. It's right. like no. What we're doing here is we're building up audiences. Right. We're filling up yeah. our bucket. So we want to yeah. make sure that that the same people continue to see us in that location. Right. So change that to eighty because that's what 80. you did. Eighty. Yeah. And then that and then that's it. So 80 and then, and then now, yeah, see, so, so this error that, that we're seeing in red to the right, it mm -hmm. may be because we have those custom audiences in there. Um, mm -hmm. It may be because of that. Right. But we also have in the city. So I don't even want to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. But, but what I do want you to just pay attention to is, is the leads. Yeah. So three, four days in five days in. Mm-hmm. Give me just give me an update. Um, and again, this is all a form of testing as well. One mm -hmm. ad, maybe re we retarget those audiences and and also target Aber Abbotsford. Another ad, maybe we don't retarget those audiences. Because mm -hmm. the reason why we're seeing that red arrow on the right is because of the audiences. The audiences are too small. Right. But okay. but mm -hmm. we're also targeting 80 kilometers. So I'm, mm -hmm. I don't think that red, I don't think that a lot of times I won't even pay attention to that. Um, mm -hmm. but, but again, we'll see in the next few days after the ads live. Okay. So that's right. that. If you scroll down, then you got mm -hmm. the placements. We're going to leave it on advantage placement and that's it. That's it for tab number two. That's it for the ad set level. So, so we should be good age. You cannot change gender. You cannot yeah. change detail targeting. We don't need any of that placement. We're going to leave it advantage plus placement. So we're good here. Scroll to the top, give it a, give it a name. So the name is all I want to do is just briefly describe what we did below. So ten dollars per day or ten Canadian, whatever you guys call it out there, ten per day, um, retargeting. And really, go with the bottom one. Just click on that bottom one because that bottom one's the same. Click on the bottom one. Just type. Yeah, click on that drop down. Click on that. That's it. And then all you're gonna do is add, add. So you got average for BC eighty kilometers dash CAD ten. Dash and advantage placement, dash retargeting, dash retargeting, because we're retargeting in this one. Okay. So, again, let let's see how this one plays out based on based on the retargeting. Okay. If in, if, in, if in the first few days we're not mm -hmm. seeing leads coming in, it's going to be because we're we're targeting audiences that are too small. Right. But I, but I really technically I don't see how that would be an issue if we're mm -hmm. also targeting BC. If yeah, we will see. We... If, excuse me. If yeah. we're also targeting eighty kilometers around Abbotsford, right? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we will see that. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. That's step two. So hit the blue button next, 
And now because we posted the, 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 the ad, because we posted it on the business page first, mm -hmm. now all we got to do is come down here, scroll down, name it at the top, just go PDF video two. You don't have to put leads, just PDF video two. And then, and then as we scroll down, all we're going to do is use existing post. So PDF. Okay. So what about this? So this is my business page and this yep. is my post. Instagram. Yep. Okay. Instagram. Okay. Right. So scroll down, add setup, create ad. We're going to hit that drop down. up, 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 create ad, the drop down. So click on that, create ad, and then you're going to use existing post. Okay. And then you just find that post. Um, and then we pop in your, your learn more button and that should be it. So scroll down right here, right here, right here. Select post. This one. Just go ahead and click on the, the button, select post. Yeah, it, it's giving you an option there, but click on select post at the top. Select post. And then just choose it from here. Okay, perfect. And then continue. <coughs> and then scroll down. Make sure that our learn more button is in here. So there's the primary text. We don't need to mess with it. Add button. Perfect. So we add button and that's where your landing page goes. And that's it. So this one. Yep. Add button. Come down to learn or actually learn more is already there. But just grab mm -hmm. your landing page link and paste it in right there. So this one is. So pages to the left. Click on pages to the left. And then just get click on the three dots and get your link. Yeah. Thank you, Paige. Nope. Landing page. Landing page, sorry. No, so this is the landing you got, page. You got two different landing pages? No, no, this is the one. Yeah, that's the one. So so click on the three dots, get the link, and paste it in. Awesome. So that will go there. We'll publish. And that should be it. Yeah, so paste it in there, update post, and we're good. So now as you scroll down, so the tracking, the website events, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, app events, we don't need to worry about that. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We're good there. Publish. And remember, every time you click on publish, you're, you're looking for this green. Click on publish. Mm -hmm. You're looking for this, or the blue, excuse me. You're looking for the blue to go green. So publishing one of three, it must go mm -hmm. green. If it goes red, yep. there's some, there was some type of error, right? So perfect. So X out of this middle, uh, for get the app. Yeah. So right here went green. So you're good. So now hit the the X in the top left, and that's it, Faisal. That's it. So X on the top left, the X, and okay. you're good. Here you just always see. You're on the third tab. You're on the ads tab. You'll always see processing right away. And then if you click on campaigns tab, click on that one. This one should have already been approved, scheduled. Once it says scheduled, that means the ad was already approved on that level, the campaign. Right. And what did they right. approve? They approved your housing category. They approved your, your, yes. your objective, which was leads. And then right. the ad set level, yep. click on the ad set tab. Here, the ad set tab should say scheduled as well. And what they do here, they approved your budget. They approved your targeting. They approved right. your retargeting. Um, mm -hmm. They approved your placement. And then it's the ad part that just takes a little a little while for them to approve because they're, right. they're reviewing right. the video to make sure the video, make sure you're not saying bad words, making mm -hmm. sure there's nothing in the background um, right. of, of the video. I had an agent one time where she was doing a walkthrough, right? She was doing mm -hmm. an open house and we were setting up mm -hmm. an ad for, for an open house coming up the next weekend. And right. she did the video of a walkthrough showing the property, right? How beautiful it was a million dollar property. There was a mm -hmm. wet bar. You could stop share. You could stop share. But she was showing the the inside of the property. And as she's recording, she there's a wet bar. There, there's there in the kitchen, right? Beautiful property. So there's there's a bar in, in the kitchen, right? Like a lot of properties have bars. Yeah, yeah. And because there's bottles of alcohol mm -hmm. in the background, the ad gets rejected. Yeah. Like fully rejected, fully rejected where, where right. she didn't run that video at all. She had to go redo the whole damn thing and <laughs> keep the wet bar out of the video. So right, that's right. the part that goes in processing in review is mm. making sure that you're mm. not saying anything bad, making mm. sure there's nothing bad in the background of the video. And then once right. that goes, it goes into review and then 
and then mm -hmm. scheduled and then your ad is is live so so david can we have a look to that email in the kartra which i prepared yes any any questions on on the ad setup i think you i think you're no. getting that part down yes so because once you say uh, once you send me the video of this one the recording of this one so i will go through it right yes and, yes uh, okay so this is kartra awesome 